Hey guys, sorry I haven't posted in a long time. I've been really busy with driver's ed and school and all this boring stuff, so I thought today I might as well make a video because I went to the U District Street Fair and I bought a whole bunch of good stuff. And so basically, the U District Street Fair is in the University District, and that's where I usually do all my thrift and vintage shopping. So I also went to a vintage store called Valley of Roses and it's one of my favorites. It's one of the more reasonable um, vintage stores because there's a difference between thrift and vintage and I'll post kind of that in the link or maybe create a different video talking about the difference because some people don't know. Anyway, I'll show you what I got from both and just a heads up, when I get less busy I'll post more often on here because there was a um, makeup look I wanted to do and also I wanted to do a hair tutorial because a lot of people ask me how I do my bangs so I guess I'll do those eventually but I'll show you what I got in this shopping haul. So I'm really excited about what I got at Valley Roses so I wanted to share that first. I got this $5 sweater. It's like this white, either lamb's wool or mohair, I'm not exactly sure what the material is. Maybe if I find out, I'll put it in the description. It's got pearls all over it, and it's really comfortable, actually. It's not, it's mildly itchy, but barely even. Like, it's tolerable. And it goes really well with skirts, I'm because it looked good with my dress, because that's just what I tried it on over. And... It'll probably look good with pants. I'm probably gonna save it more for colder weather now it's starting to get warm. And I'm really excited about these flats that I got. They're braided pink leather. It's got purple and red and orange also. And they're really comfortable. Like I could probably walk a thousand miles in them or more. Probably more. And these I'm really, really happy with. I'm in love with them. They're these cute little pumps and they got saddles kind of saddle shoe style to them and I like this how it fast it literally like buttons on like that and I'm really excited because they're they fit perfectly and the heels not too high so I could probably wear it at school so and they were under $20 which is really good I mean vintage stores tend to be more expensive than thrift stores and now I'll show you what I got at the street fair. Okay, so I got these hair clips and it's just like this pastel rose. And I'm pretty this is pretty cute and they are all not that badly priced. And I got three of these that are similar. This one's more of like a pastel lavender. You, you can't really see. I'll post pictures of it on my blog. I'll post the link down below. And this one's white with flowers and blue with flowers because I have a better camera that you can actually see what they actually really look like and then this one I really like it's the Mona Lisa and it's literally just like a hair clip like I don't know I thought that was cool and I also got this watch necklace it's actually fairly long and I'll post a picture like on Instagram or my using my camera what it looks like on this one necklace I'm really excited for it's a harmonica and it says swan harmonica and it actually plays. I was pretty pumped to find that out. I was really excited when I saw that. It's really cute. I love it. And I got these two rings and one of them's made out of a button. It's this one. It's a sun and it's just like a button in the middle and I thought that was cool and then this one's a thumb ring. It's just a flower with a thick base around it and what we just like looks like that and I thought it was cute and speaking of flowers I just wanted to show you guys the packaging the little lady that sold this was so cute and then it smells really good. She literally just picks flowers from her garden and puts them inside jewelry or paints them I thought it was cool so I got this one ring from her it's a flower like inside this last accessory you might roll your eyes at but I think they're cool I bought 
two sets of bindies. I mean, I'm probably not going to wear them that much, but they were only like a dollar. So I just did it for, sh I just bought them for shits and giggles. And I thought, you know, whenever I want to try something new, I'll stick one on, I guess. These last things that I bought are all like shampoo and lotions and body spray. So, and they're all naturally made. There's all natural ingredients in every one. So I got this lavender vanilla body spray and the smell is literally like heavenly. Like that's the best way to describe it. And my hands get really dry when it's cold and now it's starting to warm up. I might not need this right now, but I definitely will like three fourths of the year. Since I live in Seattle, it's just cold all the time. Most of the time I got this shea butter rose petal hand cream and the smell is probably just as heavenly as lavender vanilla. It's made by the same, the same um, person. So no wonder why. And this I'm really excited to try. I want, I've been meaning to try all natural shampoo and I finally bought a shampoo bar. I thought, why not? And the, it's rosemary mint and oh, it, it smells minty. And I, I love when shampoo and conditioner smells minty. I don't know why it's just I really like it and I like how my hair smells because right now I'm using tea tree mint in my hair and uh, it's I don't know I love the way it smells and it's supposed to be all natural it's supposed to make your hair healthier and manageable and so I just wanted to try that and I'll let you know when I try it out and see if there's a difference in my hair or not maybe I can do like a no poo video or something like that so then the last thing I got was that was related to body was hand and body lotion and it's English rose and it smells really, really like fresh and like natural. I like it. It's very subtle. And this last thing I bought was actual art and I thought it was really cool. This is the goddess of Ganji, I think is what the artist said it was and I'll take a picture of this and put it on my blog and I'll give the artist's credit her name's Edith I think I just don't know what her last name is but what she literally did was she cut out all these pictures from magazines and put together a collage and then she painted over some of it like she painted her face but it was originally from a clipping from a magazine and then she just kind of painted over all the um, magazine clippings she glued on there and then she, she kind of gave it some texture too like if you feel it it's actually this paint's texture itself it's really cool though I looked at it and thought it was beautiful so I'm I was really excited about that and, the artist was really cool. She made a whole bunch of paintings like that where she took out magazine clippings and painted over them and it looks, it, I don't know, I'll have to post more pictures or show you the link to our website so you can see for yourself. They are really beautiful. So that's all that I have. I hope you enjoyed that and like I said I will be posting more often once I get the chance to but I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think and I hope you guys have a great day bye thanks for watching